Hi everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm the owner of Spanish Spanish Paquitos, and today I want to share this fun bilingual story called Halloween Pumpkins Here and There, Calabazas de Halloween Por Aquí y Por Allá. And then actually at the end we're going to do some fun activities like this little matching here and then I'll show you how we're going to do that. But this story is not only fun just for the Halloween or perhaps if you're doing maybe something along the line with pumpkins or with harvest time, this is a great story to begin a lesson if you're going to be doing something along the lines of that. So let's get started. Pumpkins are here and there. They wait for Halloween. It's a special day. Las calabazas están por aquí y por allá. Ellas esperan a Halloween. Es un día especial. They wait with friends. Some friends are happy. Other friends are anxious. Ellas esperan con amigos. Algunos amigos están felices. Otros amigos están ansiosos. But the wait is over. Halloween is here. Pumpkins are here and there. Pero la espera se acabó. Halloween está aquí. Las calabazas están por aquí y por allá. Boo, boo. There's a spider over there. The pumpkins are surprised. Boo, boo. Una araña por allí. Hay una araña por allí. Las calabazas están sorprendidas. Bang, bang. The bell reminds them Halloween will be over soon. Bang, bang. La campana les recuerda que Halloween se acabará pronto. The pumpkins that were there, that were here and there, celebrate until the end. Happy Halloween. Las calabazas que estaban por aquí y por allá celebran hasta el fin. Feliz Halloween. I hope you like that quick story there. It's very fun to, to read together if that's something that perhaps interests you. And along with that, as you notice that there's some, not just only here and there, aquí y allá, there's actually over there as well. There's actually other types of locations and that you can um, perhaps talk to kiddos about what did that mean and then to do that you can actually use oops you can actually use this for instance and it's a quick little matching that you can do with the reading now you can practice por aquí por allá here and there or you can practice over there or over here any of those i think it's a good Good way to do that. So, and to do it that way, for instance, I know I saw the little cat there. El gato, cat, matches, of course, with this right here. Cat, gato. You can also look for hat, sombrero. Where would that be? Could that be over here? Nope. So, what I suggest is that actually you look for the image, which actually hat is right here, sombrero. That can help the kiddos understand and match the ha the text with the image so that they can put those two together and they actually can learn what that word is in regards to to either the English or the Spanish term. You can also go here, ghost, fantasma, <gasps> ghost, fantasma. And then of course, pumpkin, calabaza, pumpkin, calabaza. So you have that there. So very fun there, very fun to do. I think it brings them together into what the story is about here and there, por allí, por aquí, por allí, por allá. So there are many different ways that you can do that. So here's another game that you can do. Now this one has a, uh, it's all images. And in this case, we're just matching the images. Now, if you need the Halloween terms for this, we do, I do have a checklist um, on a blog post that has all the Halloween terms that you can possibly find. And they're very simple. They're not very unusual or difficult to, to know. For instance, this of course is pumpkin calabaza. And then where could it be? Could it be here? No. Now, if it's the picture 
of course I would just again just leave it and then complete and then find another one to complete the set so for instance could it be over here no but we know that this one is with this one so I would just leave those two there so the candy corn matches there and then could it be over here and then that's my match right there with the pumpkin calabaza here I have my ghost fantasma with could it be over here ah, there it is and then my last one is the bat murcielago along with bat murcielago so that's can match those up so that is a quick game there that you can practice and these are just um, of course these are just for beginners and there's actually a checklist that you can go along with this of course and to learn what those terms are so it's a very simple activity and reading so that you can go along with um, Halloween if that's something that you are interested in I think it's a very fun way to introduce Halloween terms or fall terms and to your lessons so I hope that you like this lesson in this bilingual story join me another time for another fun bilingual story in English and Spanish and I hope I see you on the next video thank you so much everyone have a wonderful and safe happy Halloween